Hey everyone, so in today's video I wanted to talk about how to get the perfect haircut for your face shape. And I think from uh, very early on uh, with my passion for hair, I could easily look and see like what would look good for that person and for that shape and all of that. I didn't, however, know what the formula was. I could just visually see like that's wrong, they should be doing this instead. I remember thinking that all the time. And finally, once when, you know, even before cosmetology school and I saw a chart and like kind of laying it all out and I'm like, oh, that's why it makes so much sense and this is like why you need this and all of that. So anyway, it's actually very easy, very simple. So the first thing obviously is finding out what face shape you do have. Not exaggerating, probably 90% of women and girls that sit in my chair at the salon will tell me like I can't have short hair because I have a round face. And it's actually very small percentage of people that have a round face. There's nothing wrong with having a round face, but I think honestly every woman thinks she has a round face. So if you're one of those people that think you have a round face, please do this to figure out if you really do or not. So the best way to do it is to get like a dry erase marker, stand in front of a mirror, tie your hair completely back, bangs everything like hair completely away from the face and draw the outline, be at least like arm's length from the mirror and draw out your face and then obviously step back and you will see that obviously the shape of your face. In a perfect world, ideally what you want is an oval face. Now that doesn't mean that if you have an oval face, you have a prettier face than say a heart-shaped face or a diamond face or a square face. It obviously has nothing to do with that. Obviously it's your features and everything else. Your face shape doesn't determine anything, obviously. So oval is the ideal and what if you have this, there you can wear any haircut, any style, and it suits your face shape. So that's the easy one. Now for the first two, which most people think they have, and that is the round or the square. So obviously no one has a completely symmetrical, round, perfect face, but that just means that your jaw is about the same, you know, width as your, as your forehead, your cheeks are kind of about the same, so there's not really a definition. Square is for someone that obviously has like a bit more of a square jaw and at, at the top the forehead is also pretty square and pretty broad but not not necessarily long all right so the heart and the diamond are pretty similar um, they have a pretty narrow kind of slim jaw now the only difference is that the diamond the forehead tapers up a little bit too, making your cheekbones the widest part of your face and in turn creating that diamond effect. Whereas the heart shaped is more just kind of like an angled kind of pointier uh, chin and then the rest is basically oval. But your jaw here is slightly slimmer than your forehead is up at top. All right, so now I'm going to go over for each shape, which haircuts are the most flattering and what you can wear for these uh, two face shapes that are going to enhance and make you look more beautiful. So for the round face, you want to, another thing people think is like, I can't have a bob or anything really short because it'll just make my face rounder. And that's not necessarily the case because if you're wearing your hair down, say, you know, kind of like to the sides, it's actually kind of slashing off each end, kind of each side of the face, and you're actually left with a very kind of narrow oval looking face. So that's actually ideal. So it's not about anything, at least up to the jaw is fine. Anything shorter, then your whole jaw is exposed, and then that's when it starts to exaggerate the look that it is really round. Around the face, you want to avoid layers coming at the face. So imagine a blowout like with the layers coming towards the face. That So if I have hair coming in here, you, again, because the hair grows up here and kind of does that, again, you're exaggerating a round or kind of a ball-like shape, and so you want to avoid that. So having the layers coming down and away from the face, that's super flattering. Now for the square face. What you want to avoid is like pixie cuts, something really short, something where all you're doing is adding kind of volume to the top. Because all that does, if you add just more to the top, it makes this top part look even boxier. And then if there's nothing kind of supporting the bottom or the sides, it just acts like 
even more of a bigger box and that's what you want to avoid. You want some waves, again a side part to break up that symmetry. It, if, if you have hair, say bangs coming in this way and then a little bit this way, see you already forget and don't see a square. You see a pretty, you know, shape kind of peeking through the side swept bangs. As for length, again, for this one you want to kind of stay away from the jaw. So a little bit longer, just because you don't want the eye to make that horizontal line from the jaw all the way to the hair. So a little bit longer, it breaks up that line and then it kind of minimizes and makes this look a little bit smaller. All right, so for the next one, the heart shape. The only thing you want to kind of avoid with this is again, lots of volume on top or cuts that kind of end around the ear. What you don't want to do is add more volume to the top and leave the, your very kind of petite part kind of showing just because then it again it just exaggerates so it's already small if there's like no hair around it it you exaggerate that this is even pointier and smaller what you want to do obviously is always create balance so again waves long hair looks good with this um, also layers coming at the face is great so if it's kind of coming and hugging your chin that looks really beautiful someone you know who's famous that has this face shape is Jennifer Aniston and that's why she rocked the Jennifer Aniston haircut and that's because she had all those choppy layers coming at the face and that's extremely flattering. So for the diamond shape you want to avoid side set bangs because if you see that's kind of already what it's sort of doing and so for the diamond shape because it is such a tapered chin, such a tapered forehead, what you actually want to do is add volume to the top. So imagine like a very voluminous blowout. So that kind of adds fullness to these corners that are somewhat missing here. And then here you want a l any length again from at least the at least up to the chin. Having volume here too, whether you have s add soft like bouncy curls or um, just add fullness here and fullness here. Any length again, um, long hair looks great. When hair is long, it's normally kind of covering these side uh, pieces that are creating your diamond um, shape. And all that looks like now is a, you know, oval face shape. So for the last part, and that is bangs. So the first thing for straight across bangs. If you think about it, straight across bangs basically slice off half of your face or, you know, they cover it. So all you're looking at now is this. So the eye, when it looks at the face, it doesn't see like, oh look, that's the, you know, that's the face shape. You see only what's exposed. So now, so, so for this example here, I showed a square face and actually adding bangs, especially if they're kind of rounder and soft, they actually make the face appear like half its size. So that's really good. Now a lot of people that think, oh, I have a round face or I have a really big face, let me just add bangs. That's not always the correct way. So, because again, if, if you slash it off this way, it'll make it look wider as well. So, you know, if it's something you want to avoid with, then you want the side swept. And the thing with the side swept is it tricks the eye. It's a little more forgiving to the eye because you don't see that, you know, like, features aren't completely perfect because what looks um, imperfect is the hair and nobody sees like oh my gosh her like part is completely off it's on the side obviously it's a fashion thing and it looks good so you don't see is it as the face having a flaw if that makes any sense also what it does is it creates length so even though you're covering off a lot of the face because there's this high point here it's lengthening to the face whereas this kind of smashes and makes your face look more compact this way so for the rounder face shape i don't recommend any bangs but say you do have bangs and you are growing them out you can push them off to the side this way so they're not necessarily side swept so they're covering the least bit of your face as possible but it is covering the corners a bit so again it slashes off a bit of the face and with leaving that really high point it gives length to the face so that's what we want obviously with the round face so about what I'm wearing and my jewelry I keep getting asked and I keep forgetting to mention in videos so if it's not like a fashion video I tend to forget mentioning what I was wearing my nail polish is uh, Morgan Taylor and it's after dark my ring is from H&M 
and my long pendant gold necklace is from Stella and Dot. I'll leave links down below. So if you have any other questions, please leave them down below. So I hope that was informative. I hope that was easy to follow. Thank you for watching. Please give this a thumbs up if you found this helpful. And if you like videos like this, and also just because it makes me happy, please subscribe if you haven't. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.